All right. So, uh, quick little video. I'm not sure if anyone will find this any useful. Um, but if you do, uh, be sure to like and whatnot. And if you want more content from the Cave Factory mod pack, comment. Let me know. I'll be sure to do it. Uh, my brothers should be hopping on with me to play along with me and learn, you know, cool things that we can do with this. So stay tuned, I suppose. So today I have uh, a quite messy contraption going on here, if you do say. I'm still fairly new to the Create mod and uh i'm still learning all the mechanics i still have a lot to learn but i've managed to put a, together this little contraption and this mod pack and it's very useful for this mod pack um you did not know uh your cobblestone generator is not just a cobblestone generator it is just a stone generator as you can see it has a chance of break uh generating regular stone and if you know this mod in Cave Factory, every stone block that you break um, will break into a certain type of cobblestone and there will be a chance it will drop an ore of any sort of type. Upon discovery of this, I had the great idea to create a whole entire assembly line where it had the breaking process from the cobblestone generator and filter out whatever needed to be filtered out and going through the cleaning process and sent to an auto storage. So all I'm gonna really do is kind of show you guys what's going on here. And that's gonna be pretty much the basis of this video. If you have any questions, just comment them and I'll be sure to try and answer. Uh, I'm also still kind of learning this mod, so don't expect me to be any kind of pro. But if you want to see me learn alongside, I do live stream uh, pretty much all the time on twitch.tv link is in the description uh, It all kind of starts off with the drill obviously. So what's going on here is I have a uh, sticky mechanical piston Connected to an andesite casing which is then connected to a drill all facing downwards into the cobblestone generator now to get this thing to work the way it is going down dig and then stop come up wait is this little block right here called the sequence gear shift now you can go into the sequence gear shift and configure it any kind of way you want um and here i have it set to await a new redstone pulse which i have linked to a uh, redstone link which is also part of the create mod wonderful basically wireless redstone as you know um i have it connected to a simple little clock over here and this is the sending end and to know it's on the receiving end you get this little white circle and you have to use the wrench to do that but i also have it set on the stick frequency that way no frequencies get mixed up and the whole thing just goes apart what's really cool about this and <clears throat> i found very interesting is with these redstone links and a certain block called the clutch block that is powered by redstone is i can fully I just realized I don't have any uh, audio. Hold on one sec. All right, we are back and we now have sound. The really cool thing with this mod is the redstone links and it allows me to um, do this, which is uh, shut off certain parts of the system if I want to. So far I only have it, the only thing that is separate from the whole system is the drill in times when I like, might have an inventory full of uh, ores from digging out a huge section and I need to dump it in here real quick um, and make sure it doesn't get overloaded I can just turn the drill off just like so and then turn it back on whenever and it'll get back to it and if I really need to um, I feel like I need to stop the whole system I can just flip that and as you can see everything on the whole entire system including everything that goes down here is shut off everything that is being ran here is powered by one shaft and we'll show that right now and i'm gonna try and not cut this up as much as possible i just want to throw this out on youtube and maybe 
you know help out a few people if they're playing this mod pack this might seem a bit useful if you are a bit overwhelmed on what to do at the start of the start of the mod pack but um as you can see here we have a furnace burner with a furnace engine and the flywheel this is pretty much how the whole thing uh operates 24 7 can't it pretty much eats all of the coal that gets ran through i have not set it to split the coal that way i can you know store it elsewhere um i haven't really had a need for it quite yet i have a lot of coal from um manual manually crushing pretty much how this is working is it's ran off of this this one shaft right here this this one flywheel is powering the whole entire system this one right here and that is what allows me to shut off the whole system with this clutch right here this is the redstone link that links to the lever that shuts off the whole entire system now i'm really sorry if i'm really bad at describing things i'm not here to uh break down the build and how to throw it together i'm just kind of sharing my idea um and my approach in this mod pack um and maybe you guys can apply it to your playthrough uh over here i have a rotation speed controller and this is what is pretty much speeding up the drill um i can make it go faster if i want if i scroll it up and it will make the drill fat uh it will make the drill drill faster it'll break the blocks faster um but the problem with that is if i mess with this um i have to adjust the settings in the sequence gear shift because um i don't want to show you it, it it just kind of messes with everything you have to readjust um where i have it right now i think is you know fairly good it's not the best within time it will upgrade and i will probably post update videos What's connected by the drill here is a fan, and this pretty much uh, slowly pushes all the items onto the conveyor belt and runs them to where they need to. This chest right here filters out all of the cobblestone and just throws it into that chest because I don't really have anywhere else to put the cobblestone. There's so many different kinds of cobblestone, it's unreal. I have a gear shift here just because it was convenient uh if i don't have it there it would suck the items in so i place that there so there is pushing out the correct direction next up we have the crushing wheel i have it going into a chest which then allows me to hold on i'm getting a bit <laughs> these belts push you if you couldn't tell but this chest pretty much allows me to for one the items can go in and drop down as normal but if i have any ores on me i can just throw it in this chest and it will on about his thing you can see there's some redstone going up this way now this this is um pretty much where the split off happens you can get either your raw materials which is uh diamond emerald lapis redstone these are these are materials that won't need to go through this process so what i did is i crafted a filter and i use filters on pretty much all of these well this and this and a few other things um very 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 handy uh very very handy item when it comes to the create mod it pretty much uh is what makes the system work the way you want to once, once it gets really complicated but basically this filter is filtering out uh redstone diamond emeralds lapis and stuff that can't necessarily be washed it goes on the conveyor belt and it automatically goes all the way over there to my storage drawers on this side we have a filter for coal so any coal that comes through Will come out this end and it will feed into the hopper which then feeds the the furnace burner it's pretty much after it filters out all the items and the coal as you can see it's going over uh it heads over here this is another little station this is where all the crushed ore goes to and gets cleaned i have this chest here just so the one the washing doesn't get overwhelmed because it takes a little bit of time depending on the stack size that is being thrown out and two if i want to again throw in any crushed ore that i might have on me for some odd reason i could just <clears throat> throw it in here pretty much once the crushed ore comes through i have it set to uh only spit out increments of five just because that is a perfect amount for um the items to get washed uh, the higher the stack the longer it takes to get washed and this thing can only go so slow 
um, I can make it go one more slower and that's pretty much the slowest it can go and again that is being controlled by another rotation speed controller and this is all connected together with the whole system so a lot of gears involved just to get the right rotation because things got to spin the correct way for all these belts to be spinning the correct direction so yeah there's a lot there's a lot going on with with the belts and the cogs i don't really want to touch up too much on it because that would take me forever but just know that it's just all to make sure everything is rotating the correct direction um but this thing slows down the this belt which allows, as you can see, items to properly get cleaned just in amount of time. And it will then get sent through here, up in the conveyor belt, and down the main line, all the way to the storage system. Yep, everything goes up onto this belt, which is fairly simply made. Um, these belts can only reach up to 20 blocks. So it comes all the way down here into our lovely storage drawers goes into a chest which then goes into a chute and into the drawers controller and if you know anything about the drawers you know it auto sorts these are compacting drawers which is why the nuggets are not a problem they go in here and they automatically get compacted to whatever i need so yeah that's pretty much my version of an auto miner smeltery or auto mining and cleaning process with the create mod uh again if you find this any bit useful just like the video and subscribe if you want to see more and comment if you have any tips anything you think that could be eliminated and i do know that there's probably people out there who can make this much much more simpler but um i, I think it works great and i love it it doesn't look the best i'm gonna work on that again i do live stream this a lot and here soon hopefully my brother is gonna be hopping on with me so he'll kind of amplify the process the whole meaning of this mod pack is uh to pretty much automate everything and anything you can possible in this mod pack including minecraft itself if that makes sense um and if this becomes anything good i will guess i'll do a series sort of sort of i guess i mean i didn't really start from ground one but um those are usually the boring episodes you could say <laughs> um so if you guys want to see more just let me know and i'll i'll see what i can do <laughs> all right see you guys